Guess who it is, guys? It's me. I'm back. Just kidding. Um, I didn't go anywhere. So, look forward to this weird ass photo that I'm gonna probably post. But yeah. So, I have an energy because I record a bunch at once. So we don't know what tomorrow brings. So maybe I'm dead. Maybe I'm not. You never know. So. Hi, how is everyone doing? At least this time I can take a drink out of my Yeti. Last time I was using it as a tripod. Ooh. Um. I went to work today for literally three hours. Um, in those three hours, I learned that we are losing most of our staff. And um, and they put a leaderboard up, which now I work with a bunch of guys. Which, like, everybody does. And everybody knows how freaking competitive guys are, right? So, now we have a giant board that looks like those little Mario Kart guy. Old, like, um... You know, at the end of the game, there was, like, a leaderboard and they would go up and down. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah. So, now if we don't have our times right, everybody starts yelling at each other like a crazy person. Yeah, so I'm now seeing what video games are like in real life, and I don't know whether or not I'm a fan. Um, remember that time when I wanted to play video games? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how well I would do. I think I would end up swearing way too much. Um, yeah. So this one's gonna be just about my updates of my life because I feel like you all should get boring ones between all this fun jazz that I ran out for you all. Um, yeah, so, this one's one of my boring ones. If you don't want to listen to it, you may go on. This one's just telling you my life updates about my week. Um, because usually, I have funny shit that I feel like I have to tell you guys. So, um, yeah, so I feel like half of my staff is just being deleted out of my world. And I don't know how I feel about that, because I don't know who's disappearing. So, yeah. Um... I never know who's disappearing. I just show up to work and they're like, this is the new person. I'm like, hi. So now I have learned that um, I'm probably the most annoying person there. And I am very proud of that. And if you're from work, hi, I'm the annoying one you chose to listen to. So how is everyone? I have the most energetic energy right now i'm literally shaking out of my boots and it's still freaking raining outside so yeah um i don't know if i'm ever gonna go to sleep i might record like five million podcasts by the end of the night who knows um yeah i uh i need to get new look i need to get new glasses even though i feel like nobody knows that i wear glasses but i do i wear pink glasses and black glasses but they're the same style um yeah, so I gotta get new glasses um, because I am having headaches and trouble seeing, and my eyeballs aren't doing so good generally. So, like, I'm almost blind in one eye. Yeah, so I don't know if my eyes are getting better or worse by me just not wearing them. And I don't wear them because ever since COVID hit and the freaking masks. And glasses, apparently, the people who invented these freaking masks didn't wear glasses. Why? Because everyone knows that if you had glasses and a mask on, you your eyes just fog up. And then you're just having a whole mess. So, yeah. Um, that happens. And I freaking hate it. So, I just chose not to wear them. And ever since then, I just haven't been wearing them. And my mom feels like... She has to tell me to wear my glasses. And it's, it gets really funny because we'll get in freaking arguments and then I have to put on a mask. See? See my problem? Yeah. So, that is my fun. And I want to get new glasses and then buy a pair of sunglasses online because I'm cheap like that. And I usually end up doing that because I'm cheap. And yeah. So. That's what, what's been happening in my life. Um, I feel like, um, where do I want to, what's the next topic I want to talk about? Oh, 
Um, I have this new weird hobby. It's called stalking Zillow. Um, yeah. So Zillow is a platform where people post their houses. If anyone hasn't heard of Zillow. So, yeah. So I sit there and I look at million dollar homes on a daily basis now because like that if that's not the biggest motivator I've never heard of heard one yeah so now you get virtual tours or you can get like um walkthroughs and stuff and yeah so I might be dressing up like a normal person and like going to look at million dollar homes for no reason and if you see me out there just don't question it because that's me mom goes we would have to rent a car because our car has it's a Ford Focus who has a little bit of beating, you know, and a scratch from me hitting the cement pole. So yeah, um, that happened. Oh, guys, um, you're gonna find this funny. Um, so I convinced my mom to let me take segment two. I'm convinced my mom doesn't want me to get my license. So I'm in an argument with my mom about my license because she, I'm. Re- I think she just wants to keep me in my house um like a pet i don't know um so we're pulling in a parking spot me and my mom are arguing about my driving again because my mom can't seem to understand that if she's quiet i'm fine so yeah um we're pulling in a parking spot and i think i'm all the way in park and instead i'm in reverse and i i I still have my hand on the thing so i obviously lift off the gas and it starts rolling a little bit so i immediately go on to break put look at my mom and my mom looks at me and she just goes no (laughs) so i immediately pull back into drive and then i pull it up back in the parking spot pull it all the way to park and the lady next to us in the car is of course is there and she starts laughing and i i look at her my mom comes walking over to get like the laptop because she wants to work and i'm laughing my ass off because i'm like oh man i can't imagine what this mom thinks and i can't wait for my mom to um uh ride with me on my segment to test car test because my mom's gonna sit there and full regret her whole life she'll be like mm-hmm, i'm not dying i'm totally not dying and i also have to practice parallel parking and city uh driving so yeah that could get interesting and i uh have classes in grand rapids so like yeah um i definitely need to start working on the inner city things like one ways I suck at those. Why? Because country roads don't have one ways. Who knew? I also want to talk to the person who created the stop signs. And why do you not put them at every crossway? I kind of think that's a little confusing sometimes. But that's just me. Me thinking on the road, even though I know somebody's gonna judge me for this. So yeah. Um here's my piece of paper that of my notes because let's be honest, if I was tired, we would have got to eight minutes. Um oh a year ago, um not a few days ago. A year ago, a few days ago, um, I decided to take apart my whole room. My whole room didn't look like it does now. It didn't even have anything really to look like this at all. So, I'm going to tell you my process behind it because I feel like anyone's going to judge me. So, I had a huge waterbed. A giant-ass waterbed. Um, and I had this waterbed for years. My stepdad made it for me. And, like, everything in my life has been changing and that was my environment in my bedroom is pretty much where i spend my whole life um so i kind of wanted to make something different of it even though um i didn't know what i wanted to do with it but god went hey you know what we're listening so he killed the heater in my waterbed even though my waterbed was like 10 years old by the time the heater's only supposed to last like eight so he killed it so i'm now that was bedless for a minute there 
I took apart my waterbed all by myself. No one helped me, by the way. Handmade craftsmanship waterbed. I'm going to keep that in there. And we still have it, don't worry. My stepdad made it princess style bed, so like it has those four tiers things. And yeah, it's pretty cool once it's all like put together. Yeah. Um, my room used to be all pink. Still freaking love pink. My lights are right now pink. My cup is pink. Case has pink in it. So yeah, I love the color pink. But I used to have my walls were dark pink. Like this custom pink at the bottom and then this ballet pink at the top. Then I had a wall of purple because my mom's like, you need a new color in your room. So we painted a wall purple. Now, you look at my walls. It looks like some <laughs> Willy Wonka factory blew up in here. Um, Because I have white walls, a purple wall, a yellow wall, pink wall. No, I don't have a blue ball wall yet. But, have been thinking of it. But my mom tells me no. So, yeah. Um... I, I freaking love my room now. Um, I know it doesn't look like anything a normal person would have. I also have, like, business things in here. And I'm surrounding myself by, with the things I love. So, yeah. Um, I'm now, like, have stations where I can do stuff. Instead of having, like, my giant-ass bed be everything. Like, I'm gonna get a different desk. But I have a desk right here where that I'm sitting at. And eventually I'm gonna get, like, all new different things. But I need to first start getting a chair that doesn't hurt my butt. My butt hurts in this chair. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I have, I'm have. i literally sitting on pillows just because it hurts way worse if I don't. So, yeah. Um, I have all sorts of stuff all over the room for all different kinds of companies. And, yeah, um, I'm now surrounding myself with things I love. Like my companies, even though... They, they're not, they don't do so well sometimes, but yeah, they're working their way. They just started. So yeah, a year ago, I also started Aaliyah's Boutique on just the website and Instagram. And yeah, so I started a year ago, taking it serious, started a whole website for it, started everything for it a year ago. And yeah, I... I took a break a few, for a few months there, doing something different, this, and I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I have figured out most of my shiznit. I have to do more Etsy. I have to get that all set up because once July hits, my birthday hits, I got to do a lot of shit, get a lot of things around, finally get my license. Once I get my license, I can finally put the license into my all of my programs. So then, I'm verified that I am a citizen. <laughs> and then, all of these things can be ranked up easier because they know I'm verified. If you can't tell, I'm very frustrated about this. But oh well. Um, yeah. So, I've gotten on Macari and Depop and Maya I say I am having the most fun of it because I love thrifting and I love everything about it. I love the idea of secondhand clothes because, like, it's cheaper and it's also, you know, why not? So, I'm going to tell you about my finds and you can judge me all you want. But I bought two pairs of Levi's um, shorts for the summertime and upcoming vacation. The 501s. They look awesome. Eventually, I'm also starting to work out, so I don't look like a fat potato in a squeezed in bikini. Oh my gosh! So I got, I bought bikinis. <laughs> my dog is judging me. So I bought bikinis, and they are way too small, <laughs> like laughable small. Like I look so freaking huge in them and i'm not a big person i'm not at all i am a little bit fluffy but i'm not, i'm not a big person i am bigger than i was but i'm not a big person so <laughs> these i felt very big and then I, now they're telling me i can't return them they're like you can get store credit i don't want store credit and what the full 
return. So I might be selling those too. So yeah, um, having a girl, if a girl like way smaller than me wore it, she'd be adorable. Me, I look like a fat potato squeezed into a bikini. Yeah, so that's happening. I also have a prom thing coming up with a church that I go to now. So this could get interesting. Um, need a prom date. Talking to anybody out there if they're listening. Um, yeah, so I don't even know what to call this. Bunch of mesh. <laughs> um, what did I mainly talk about? Oh my god, I don't remember. Um, so yeah. Anyone want to be prom- my prom date? That sounds really weird, but I have to go prom dress shopping. Not really prom dress shopping. It's more like hunt down the thrift stores because that's where I find all my good stuff. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I am done with any all of the nonsense. Yeah. Bye.